give any advice on how to okay, do no, it? Okay, no, no, but you have sound. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. <laughs> yep. I suppose that could work. This is the place of serenity. But if it's like one of the Cthulhu gods. Paying, paying no heed to them is, isn't, isn't the right way to go, I suppose. One bullet. Huh. Nice library. library. I wonder if this is a boss fight arena. Okay, we have some. Not much in the way of shotgun, but yeah, 32 caliber bullets, plenty. Which is quite realistic, uh, 38 would be like almost uh, official caliber police and, and stuff. Oh, that's a serene, serene place. Okay. Might be a jump scare. There's something missing. Hollow cross. That's so creepy. And we came through some kind of painting. Oh, tapestry. There's something here. Similar. Pedestal quite like the one we saw, saw at the upstairs. Ladders. I wonder. Okay, that's pointing up the upstairs. Scary, scary statues. was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe. Inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. 
Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Frowler. Left to the librarian. Left to the librarian. Is that the librarian? British doll. Ah, that statue is still there. They are not yet alive. Ah, blood. Well, this is beginning well. place is coming down or something. Could I fit through there? Okay, I, I can fit fit through there. Fit fit through that uh, hole right there over there. Let's check this around. I suppose this is too serene serene place to have a bullets. What's here? Yeah, that's a key of the Hubertus. Why do you have to manifest your worst fears, Jeremy? Not watching him. This is a puzzle not to look at the guy. My worst fear. After all, he's just waiting the elevator. Most of the smoke is coming from his ass, so... <laughs> Ignoring the fears, this is way to go. Don't look back, don't look back. Teleported in in front of me, but I managed.
Nope. Okay, there's two of them. Right. Okay, now's my chance. Yolo. Now what? Okay. Third floor. I suppose we are going to fight him here as well. Fight my fears. Okay, that no third fight. <laughs> Just ignore him. <laughs> okay, that 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 seemed to be working. Just ignore your fears. So why Cornby has a black man as his source of fears? Has he seen him? The girl seemed to know many things about Cornby that she shouldn't. So what's the what's the puzzle here? Can I jump over here? Uh, apparently no. So I suppose Garby has been a detective who had like Cthulhu mythos related uh, stuff, cases, okay, save point. I wonder why. Game is saving, now, now it's time to be uh, slightly paranoid. So I'm trying to find the information, but I haven't Here's found. Something. Here is something. I wonder if I'm going to find the information this way. Ah, there's books in the elevator. Game is loading. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Um. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Detective! One! One! I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no going back. He was going to shoot himself. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carmby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck, detective. Like he was fighting something. Okay, that's way to move around. Well, thank God you're here, detective. 
Sitting all alone in a place like this? I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of I suppose he needs a drink now. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. He has had too, too few. Nice. It's good. I know. I have great taste, detective. Carnby is pulling himself together pretty fast. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Probably not. Oh well, he ceased to be sacrificed. Look, I'm just trying to get so Jeremy no. Out of that deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Yeah, that's a bad deal. Well, if all fails. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the dark man. I saw it in a dream once. Okay. What? So she's a witness. Basically, the Prex shipping company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Okay. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. May makes you wonder. Matchbook. Juju and street card ticket, okay? Forbidden knowledge. I suppose street card tickets are forbidden no leaks. According to the book in Tarawea, the dark man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Not too drunk. Crane operator. Okay, yeah. He's he's paid a three dollar fifty cents a day. Longshoreman. Two dollars a day. Yep, not really a Well paid time. The salaries were very small back then. Back then. Okay, there's enemy over there. Lots of ammunition laying, laying around. I didn't check the doors. It's locked from the other side. Yeah, okay. So over the around the corner basically. Spazzing there. Oh 
Well, that that's okay. Yeah, this enemy AI. Well, I'm happy if, if I get in without using the... Okay, it's a little ba battered from the other side. These heat boxes. Yeah, somebody hasn't uh, uh, fixed the roof. Suppose we are going to take that thing down. And this big uh, hack is big axe is uh, slightly unwieldy. Maybe the sledgehammer would be better. Okay, there's the two of them. Weapons swap. Not the Alan Wake too, but yeah, I, I think I manage. Now we can explore a bit, bit more. Okay, tap right there, ribbon. Somebody has been writing here. I have actually used typewriter writer ribbon. To actually own own a old fashioned typewriter. Don't have a working ribbon for it though, but yeah, sure I do. Pistol bullets. Uh, less than we what we needed. Okay, and you shouldn't be drunk when using this. All finished. All finished, okay. I don't know what I did, but... Oh, fudge. Barbecue. 
Good, good, good thing I spotted and hit that uh, alcoholic bottle there. These things are flammable. The monsters, I mean. Okay, what's, he, what's in here? It's like this is a survivor horror game that wants to be a proper action, action <laughs> game. Okay, there's a one one guy after me. Tried to sneak behind me. Well, fair. Don't think it's going to come after me. Nope. That one is sleeping. I would love if somebody modded this game that you can actually pick up couple 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 battles or bricks or even even keep that one in hand without aiming okay that was like mandatory Okay, full full health. So I can try to go to close combat. And um Well Sledgehammer seems to be holding just fine. It was hand axe that was constantly breaking. So I would like to get some stats, find some stats about this. Machine gun cartridge. Point four forty five cali caliber. I would like like if machine gun Okay, Tommy gun. And he it has yeah, a box magazine. Which is arguably much better magazine than the drum magazine ever was. Pretty hard to Okay, I wonder what is the clue. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the papers safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. And what is left, right? Uh. Ah, four, five, four, four. Okay, now it worked. Cargo manifesto, September nineteenth, eighteen. The back black barrow. Black shipping company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh, performing at Gaitin Street. Sars. Okay. Props. Galatin Street 13. Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the dark man. <laughs> uh, 
Mist. Fudge. Okay, they are all soaked, but... Maybe I'm heading back, back up here. Tactics. Shall we test this? <sighs> Chicago typewriter. Just down the street. Huh. I suppose we can't go from the front door. That would be too easy. Okay, we can go from through the front door. But I want to see what's, what's on the side here. Nothing here. Still unharmed. Black Pharaoh. Witness the Black Pharaoh. In this case, that might be like real Black Pharaoh. Or Nuar Lata step. One of the Cthulhu gods. Yeah. Hello, Jeremy. You want to tell me what this is all about? Welcome, Detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel. The okay. Feral, I knew it. The ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. No. So yeah. you got scared by a stage magician And now he's living inside your head You can mock me, detective But you would be the crazy one to think his presence Can be ignored Look where we are We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, we can't. We would turn on loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. But... What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Uh, 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 uh. 
God damn it, Jeremy. I'm gonna save you. Don't worry. Well, he's mission oriented. And what was he paid? Two hundred dollars. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Hmm? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Two, yeah, two, and... Yeah, uh, no, that's... Those are symbols from the book. Okay, so, back. Okay, there's three of them. Still doesn't remember what the, what they were. Okay. Tackle pages. Ah, ah, ah. Did the paper see John? John. Gemini. Was it Virgo? Pisces, Gemini, and. Yeah, but it's Gemini and Virgo. Uh, two, five, eight. Two, eight, five. Or five, two. Five eight. Okay, not sus at all. Uh, let's let's check around. Yep. Find a way inside sunken temple. <laughs> 